so good afternoon or uh, good morning, depending on, on your time zone, where you are. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all in this international uh, webinar about the Samos Aegean Sea earthquake of the 30th of October 2020. Um, uh, as we need to start the program immediately, we would like to share some thoughts on behalf of the organizing associations. I would like to start with uh, Professor John Stewart uh, from UCLA. Uh, John, due to the time zone, uh, has sent us a welcoming message that we're going to play live now, and he will join us uh, later on live uh, for the final sessions. Um, so without further ado, let me share John's message. Good afternoon, and welcome to this seminar on the 2020 Samos Island of GNC earthquake. I'm Jonathan Stewart. I'm a professor of civil and environmental engineering in the Samueli Engineering School at UCLA. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I did not myself conduct field reconnaissance after this devastating earthquake. Rather, the reconnaissance was performed by teams organized by the Hellenic Association of Earthquake Engineering, the Earthquake Engineering Association of Turkey, the Earthquake Foundation of Turkey, and by the Earthquake Engineering Research Center at Middle Eastern Technical University. While these reconnaissance missions were underway, I began to have discussions of the work that was occurring with colleagues in Turkey and Greece. And we realized that the ind independent deployments that were underway at that time would be optimized in terms of learning the lessons of this earthquake if the teams came together, share findings, and produce a joint report. So, what then followed was a series of joint meetings with both the Turkish and Greek colleagues. And as this was occurring, I think we were all struck. Uh, particularly in these tumultuous times that we're living through, by a strong sense of collaboration, of mission, and a can-do spirit, uh, which really permeated this effort. We were determined to do our best to integrate the data, interpret the available field evidence in a collective manner, with the ultimate aim of turning disaster into knowledge, which ultimately is what we're all about in our reconnaissance activities. So this effort uh, produced a comprehensive report that was published, I think, in a reasonably timely manner, two months after the event on December 31st of 2020. Uh, the publication uh, is by the aforementioned professional societies, as well as the Geotechnical Extreme Events Reconnaissance Association and Earthquake Engineering Research Institute in the USA. I do want to acknowledge my colleagues, Andre Chutton at METU, George Milanakis and Tasso Sextos at the University of Bristol, who worked tirelessly on the coordination of the report and the organization of this seminar. I also want to truly express my appreciation to the leads of the various chapters in the report, with whom I had the pleasure of working, uh, as well as the contributors who really made this report uh, and, in fact, this seminar possible. We should also thank the funding agencies that supported the field reconnaissance and also the publication of the report. The seminar program we have for you today reflects the eight chapters that are in the report. The chapter leads and contributors are the presenters that you'll hear from today. So you'll be hearing from the people who actually did the work. I think you'll find that this is a significant event with important lessons for all of us. The research spawned by this earthquake is going to be keeping all of us busy for years to come. Truly, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you, Tassos. Uh... I may use a couple of minutes to welcome you all. Uh, I think the best way of starting is to say, uh, everybody, hierete, merhaba, welcome. So uh, the exciting part of this webinar to me is that we all gathered together uh, on a Saturday in our busy schedules uh, to discuss something technical uh, about an earthquake reconnaissance. Moreover, uh, I am excited, and it is quite unusual that uh, before the end of the webinar, 
uh, I declare that we achieved our goal, which is to get together and discuss something in a joint manner. So uh, I congratulate everybody and thank to everybody for uh, joining us and uh, proving that we can unite and collaborate uh, on a joint problem. Uh, so that will be my opening remark. Uh, and the second task that I'm in charge today is to make a short introduction uh, about Professor Erdik. And I am so lucky because Professor Erdik does not require any introduction. He is the most well-respected and known uh, earthquake engineer internationally. And he is the president of uh, Turkish Earthquake Foundation. No further ado, Professor Erdik. Well, uh, well, thank you, Kemal. I think I heard what I wanted to hear, so <laughs> I, may not, I may not continue anymore. Thank you, I am flattered. Uh, well, dear John, dear Tassos, dear George, dear uh, Kemal, I think you have been great in this thing, but most of all, dear participants, uh, welcome to this webinar on the Aegean Sea Samos Island uh, earthquake. It's essentially organized as a follow up of the reconnaissance report. Uh, first of all, it has been a real pleasure for to take part in such a joint effort that resulted in this excellent reconnaissance report on this important earthquake. This is actually my second webinar on this issue. The Another one we had just after five weeks ago uh, together with Professor Penelis from the uh, uh, from the Greek Society of Concrete Research. And that has, that's much smaller than this one, but it has been a real success in this term. And then uh, certainly that the all the contribution, contributors should be acknowledged very good. I mean, they have done all they, they need to do. And they have, and the, also the session, uh, I think, coordinators or the chapter coordinators done their work. And everything went on schedule, unbelievable. So that's, I think that's that's part that comes more from the United States, I guess. And then everything's finished on time, and I would say in a minimum time. So I, I wish all of you the most successful webinar, and I'll be... I'll be watching with strong interest. Thank you. Uh, Thank thanks. you, Professor. Thanks, Professor uh, Erdik. Um, hello, everyone. I'm George Milonakis, um, professor at the University of Bristol. Uh, without further ado, I would like to um, invite again uh, Professor Tasso Sextos, uh, who is the president of the Hellenic Association for Earthquake Engineering, to continue with the introduction uh, to this webinar. Uh, Tassos, the floor is yours. Thanks very much, uh, George. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it happens that I've got this uh, dual role. Um, being a member of the organizing team, along with uh, John, uh, Darren George, and also to be representing the Hellenic Association. In this capacity, I would like to thank everyone, and also Professor Victor just uh, described the framework previously, and say that uh, immediately when the earthquake happened, it was evident that uh, the only way to understand, particularly this, <coughs> this exact location, um, the only way to understand um, the fault mechanisms and seismic activity and the tsunami phenomena was to work uh, closely and share data and information across both sides of the fault. Uh, in terms of structural and geotechnical engineering and damage, probably this was a little bit different given the um, slightly distant uh, building stock and the geotechnical topographic conditions in Izmir and in Samos. However, there's also one thing in common in that case. The fact that given the intensity of this event, um, the loss of life was not justified in both cases. We were devastated to see people, buildings collapsing in Izmir, and also people losing their lives in Samos after the major uh, earthquake, the major. So in our opinion, given the level of our current knowledge, the degree of advancement of our seismic codes, the intensity of the ground motion, such seismic loss is in, in any way unacceptable. With that in mind, once the earthquake happened, immediately our associations reached out to each other um, and there, we've set the framework for uh, greek Turkish or turkish greek uh, US collaboration that really exceeded our expectations. More than 100 people joined together. There would be even more, but it would be really unmanageable 
uh, to extend further uh, to in in include all colleagues that were interested to participate. The enthusiasm was great in the preparation of the report and in the preparation of this webinar. And this is, I think, literally the first time that we managed uh, after a major earthquake that um, hit both earthquake, uh, both Greece and uh, Turkey, to collaborate across so many disciplines in such a short time frame, and all that in the middle of a pandemic. This wouldn't be feasible without your contribution. I don't really know how much we have understood about the lessons learned. We'll find out after the end of this webinar, or even better, we'll find out during the next earthquake. But I think that the fact that we've worked together is a great step on its own right. So let us use this webinar as a platform for sharing ideas, data, good practices, policies, improving our goals, um, and building upon the network established so that we can collaborate in an even more organized way, an extensive way to mitigate seismic loss. On behalf of the Hellenic Association of Earth Engineering, we are delighted to have been working with you and we, will, we welcome everybody and all international communities to this exciting new event. Um, so further on, I would like to introduce Professor um, Bill Jesse Yahi, President of the Earthquake Engineering Association of Turkey. We are very, very pleased to have her with us today and the floor is yours uh, for your uh, individual comments. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Tassas. Uh, good afternoon uh, and cold and rainy day from Istanbul. Dear doctors, uh, Dick, Stewart, Sextos, Tassos, and all participants from Turkey and Greece, uh, I would like to say welcome to all on behalf of Earthquake Engineering Association of Turkey and thank to each and every one of you for being here with us today. Uh, before we get started, I would also like to express my sincere appreciation to those organized this webinar and great job, Dr. Chetin, Dr. Milanakis, Dr. Stewart, Dr. Sextos, and all. Um, maybe briefly, I can I want to stay and introduce about EEAT uh, in briefly. EEAT was established in nineteen uh, in. Uh, 2009, and it's NGO which gathers engineers, uh, professional working on earthquake damage and loss mitigation. And members uh, of the EEAT uh, constitute of engineers, earth scientists, architects, urban planners, and social scientists. And currently, we have 10 institutional and uh, 233 individual members. And in today's webinar, we will focus on the agency uh, earthquake of October, which caused significant impacts on both sides of Asian coasts. Uh, we will be learning different aspects uh, of this earthquake during the next few hours. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time, and I hope today's webinar will be 